Okay. I'm gonna film this the second time. There was an ambulance. Basically, there were some products I wanted to try out and do reviews of and comparisons of to see if they're worth the price that these companies are asking for. And this is the Moleskin Watercolor Travel Size Sketchbook in A5. It's like the five and a half by eight size. And I wanted to compare that with some of the other ones. And I'll do a video on that probably later this week, depending on how organized I am, because there's a few others I've tried and this one is not my favorite. And um, I also wanted to try out the Crandash Museum Aquilel watercolor pencils that are almost $5 a piece. So I did that. And the Uniball Signo in silver and gold. And then here's just a, a two slash zero round watercolor brush, baby food jar, and my Mobius and Rupert brass pencil sharpener. And this is the only pencil sharpener I pretty much use for everything. Okay, so let me show you this sketchbook tour. And what I did was mythical creatures with, if they had a favorite plant, what their favorite plant would be. So here's a jackalope with a rabbit's foot fern. Here's a Cyclops with a Black-Eyed Susan. And I tried to go for historical accurate origins. So like Cyclops comes from Greece. Here's a vampire and garlic. And I wanted to do portraits. <clears throat> Griffin with a shower of gold. It's a really cool looking plant. Pegasus with Cosmos. Here's Giant with a sunflower. I added fingers so I can sort of show that he's huge. <laughs> Pixie and Red Pixie Lilac. I sort of boxed myself in with the parameters I set. Mermaid with string of dolphins. Like, how do I do a portrait of a mermaid if I'm just showing her face? Um, a string of dolphins is a type of uh, succulent. It's really cool. Here's a zombie with melons, and zombies came from Haiti. So that's my representation there. Dragon with snapdragons. Ghost with ghost peppers. And again, I yeah i avoided pupils i tried to give her a more like historically interesting outfit here's a werewolf with moonflower that's a type of morning glory there's a fairy with sweet peas here's a yeti with snow peas there's a gargoyle with rain lily and the gargoyles are the ones that have the rain spouts if you're thinking of like the cool stone creatures that live under bridges those are the grotesques and those are really neat as well Here's a demon with impatience. There's a Loch Ness monster with eelgrass. There's a Bigfoot with mushrooms. A gnome with bachelor buttons. Here's Jack Frost with a Siberian iris. Really beautiful flower. Angel with angel's trumpet. Angel was a weird one because I wasn't sure because there's a lot of different religious connotations. I guess I could have just drawn a dog, huh? <laughs> Dogs are angels. Here's a phoenix with ash, which is a beautiful tree. Troll with rock rose. Here's my elf with aloe blue elf, which is a great aloe. <clears throat> There's my witch with witch hazel. And some of these I had made a list of all the plants I was gonna use and then I changed them up. I originally had like cat grass or catnip on here and it, I just thought it would look too boring. Here's a unicorn with horn tree. Here's a centaur with apples, which the apples is kind of a stretch. I wasn't sure. Again, this is a Greek one, so I did the best I could. Here's a devil with devil's ivy. So sort of a horned winged goat creature. And devil's ivy seems redundant. If you know anything about ivy, it is the devil. Uh, leprechaun clover. Here's a basculist with lizard's tail. That one looks fun to draw. The chimera, which is a two-headed creature. It's like a lion goat with a snake tail and then goat's rue, which is a really cool plant. Here's a ghoul with nightshade. That's poisonous. Here's a hippogriff with hawkweed and that's sort of like an eagle horse creature. And hawkweed is an invasive weed. So I apologize for that if that's triggering you. Here's Kappa, which is like a Japanese sort of turtle creature with turtle vine. Here's a Kelpie, which is a Scottish woman with horse hooves and horse hair. So this is, 
this was the whole thing, all 36 pages. And the colors I used were purplish red, ice blue, and violet. And these were just silver and gold. And there you go. Hope you have a great weekend.